So we're still on the 11th of September, 22. You can see the the heather's going back into its autumn colours and it's going to be a long time before we um, we see the pleasant purples that I've been showing you during the mid to late August period. But um, what I was thinking as well there, because um, I've not been at Almo Reef, I've been away for a few days. In fact, I don't think I've been up at Almo Reef sit and gaze with this camera for well, it must be over a week at least a week anyway and um, I was thinking about uh, Greg's it's not a place I use often because I don't we don't have a Greg's um, where I live there's, I think there's one 20 well 15 or 20 miles away in the city but the reason Greg's has come to my mind is, um, well, I had a, a dream about um, having one of my nice T-shirts on. I don't, I don't use T-shirts. I told you that before, but I have these uh, fine cotton, 100% cotton tops that I like to wear. They're quite unusual, actually. But the um, what, what, what the the dream was about? So actually, a bloody nightmare. It was, I'd been in Greg's and I got a steak bake and um, I'd bitten into it because I was ravenously hungry and um, all the uh, gravy had come down onto my chin and dripped onto my uh, top and for the love of life I could not get that uh, gravy out of the um, the tops and then I kind of thought about it a bit more deeply, the whole kind of dream nightmare thing over breakfast and I thought I think everybody uh, eats eats these steak bakes suffer from that problem because I've passed them you know uh, normally for any overseas viewers Greg's is a baker's well they call themselves a baker's but you know it's a bit, they've got a bit of a cheek uh, calling themselves a, a baker I don't think they sell any bread um, but in a Greg shop, you can walk in and get this kind of like a pasty, and um, it's filled with the. Uh, well, I don't really know what it is, but what they do uh, have lots of is the stuff that scoots out the the sides and out the out the top and bottom when you go to eat it. So it's almost an automatic response from the pasty that it starts to ooze as uh, gunge, always onto your chin and always onto your t-shirt or top. So I think in you know what I was going to say there was between uh, most most Greg's that I found are situated somewhere between a book bookmakers and a licensed premises of some sort. That's that's normally the uh, location. So you can either come out of the bookmakers, the bookies, and uh, turn left into a uh, a Greg's, or come out of the pub and swagger uh, right if you can make it into Greg's. Either way. You're normally the only thing you can get in Greg's is a steak bake with lots of gravy or sauce, as they might say elsewhere in the world. And um, and this sauce will definitely end up on your chest. <laughs> it's actually quite disgusting to see um, somebody standing out either outside the bookmakers or outside the pub. Or even uh, outside Greg's themselves, um, devouring a steak bake. And if you're sitting, you know, minding your own business, just say you're you're sitting in the car making sure the traffic warden wasn't coming to give you a ticket, and you just happen to look over and see someone, you know, gnawing away at the the pastry and the um, driveling gravy sauce all oozing down the sides and, and the mess it makes. I mean, they don't even give you a... Well, I don't think they give you a napkin in there. I don't think they give you any, any kind of tissue of that to help you along. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of left to your own devices. Normally what happens, I've, I mean, I've actually seen it, uh, people generally use the bottom of a T-shirt because well, what's, there's no there's no uh, issue about it because um, the the top of the the t-shirt or the top has already been ruined by the gravy coming down onto it, so there's no harm in taking the bottom part. 
to wipe the rest of your chin and your mouth um, because the, um, the the pork that they uh, serve it in is saturated by this time and this stuff there's, there, I mean um, if you think of the, the the size of this kind of pasty thing how much volume of of liquid can they actually get in there it's I mean it's uh, it's quite remarkable it's like um, it, it, let me think what 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 we are it's like taking a, a shoe box and uh, filling it with um, feathers, let's say feathers, but actually having more feathers uh, than um, the shoe box can, can, can actually hold. Is that a good example, Andrew? I think it's not. I think it's a crap example. Um, all right. Oh, cornflakes, a box of cornflakes, actually putting two boxes worth of cornflakes into one box, that's maybe a better example. Well, that's what it's like with one of these uh, steak bakes. How much gravy can you get inside a steak bake? It's just um, incredible. But anyway, what I was thinking about <clears throat> on that line um, was... I mean, I don't think Greg's have uh, got themselves opened up in uh, other parts of the world or anything like that. But I was thinking that you could really... Um, well, my idea was maybe uh, sitting in a very... In a, in a fine French restaurant, <laughs> and uh, well, the chances of finding a, 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 a fine French restaurant in, in Scotland are pretty nil, aren't they? Um, I mean, I, I don't think that many people actually can even speak a word of French. But I would like to have been uh, sitting, you know, not not to give the uh, the waiter a, a, a hard time, just 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 to maybe maybe ask. Um, uh, him or her, um, but you bear with me in this one. Say, just say, for example, sitting there and you've sitting with the opposite member or sitting opposite somebody of the opposite member of sex. Does that make does that make sense? Someone of the opposite, some member of the opposite sex, is sitting opposite you. It still doesn't make sense that. Alright, your girlfriend's sitting across the, ch the table from you, okay? And you're like... Gasson! <laughs> Gasson! Gasson! <laughs> yeah, yeah, monsieur! Uh, Gasson! <laughs> Have you got any steak bake? Uh, monsieur? Uh, uh. Have you got any steak bake? A Greg steak bake. Uh, Greg, uh, Greg, my shoe. Uh, uh, a steak bake, please. Uh, oh, he's got to be speaking as well, isn't he? Uh, st steak a cool food. Je ne sais pas si ces choses. Me no, Monsieur, may understand you. A steak. Bake. <laughs> I want gravy. Uh, a sauce gravy? Uh, monsieur, you, I am not make a uh, je ne sais pas ce chose. Moi, moi pas comprendre. <laughs> moi, <laughs> steak bake. <laughs> monsieur, garçon, I want a steak bake. Moi pas comprendre. Ah, uh, ah, oui, ah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then, the, oh, I don't know if I've made a fucking arse of that or not. But anyway, what, what I mean is, like, um, the waiter comes back and he chucks a, <laughs> one of those sauce chunks of gravy on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no idea, man. It's totally random strike that someday. <laughs> Monsieur. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> but, oh fuck. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself a steak break. And get yourself a, a good detergent. And, uh, and take in some tissues with you or something. Or some, some uh, prearrange some napkins in your back pocket at least.